Dark Knight's Diaries by Aniva Walker, read by Aniva Walker, Butchers, Bakers, and Candlestick Makers, Episode 2. Frankie Mollimer, a man I only know from the news, stands on the sidewalk path behind me. His dead seaweed-colored eyes swim with unreadable intentions. So they were right. You are a jumpy one. His voice is deep and cultured, utilizing an accent I'm unfamiliar with. He isn't dressed in the neon orange jumpsuit that the news depicted him in, but an all-black ensemble of a t-shirt and jeans. His face is void of wrinkles, his mouth is etched into a thin, grim line. You're an escapee, I blurt. He looks at me as if I proclaimed I had wings, then shakes his head. You really don't know what's going on, do you? Have you not sensed it in the air? Ergo barks and steps forward. Frankie purses his lips and holds it as if he's waiting for a kiss. My brows cross as I wonder what I was tangled into. When Ergo whimpers and falls to the ground. Ergo, what did you do to him? Your pet will be fine. But you won't be if you do not invite me inside. Did this criminal really believe that I was going to invite him inside? I look him over to see if he has any weapons, but come up empty. I'm not sure why that matters considering the sheer size of the man. I am a twig in comparison and it wouldn't take much to snap me into two. I glance down at Ergo, who lays motionless and silent by my side, then back to the man. What if I refuse? Frankie shrugs. Then you die. I swallow as fear lodges in my throat. My key is in my hand, and if I'm quick enough, I know I can make it inside safely. But Ergo has to get to his feet. I yank on the leash, but Ergo stays unresponsive. Tick tock, dearie. You've got a minute to decide or you die. My decision is made when I notice three armed men stalking toward us. One was the creepy butcher in his blood stained white apron, clutching a knife as long as my arm. Beside him is a baker, clad in his company logo and a spiked object that looked like it could serve as a pointy rolling pin. The last man was carrying a half-melted candlestick in an ancient-looking brass holder. It was a zombie apocalypse scene, without the hunched forms and outstretched arms. What do they want? I stammer, yanking my unresponsive pooch a second time. You. Frankie draws. I look at the horror approaching me and the felon before me and do the unthinkable. I invite him inside.